After I was diagnosed, I don't think I really understood what having autism meant. It was hard. I had like adults that would help me. I knew I was different and I knew that I needed them, but I didn't know why. My son more than ever wants to go to the military. All he does is train. You can't have autism. Um, so <laughs> how do we gear him into having a successful future without telling him that he can't do something because he was born different? Around the time I was 23, I came across a traits list, and I just knew it was me, but I still wanted to seek a professional diagnosis. It costs five to $8,000 on average to get an autism diagnosis. The neurologist diagnosed Misha in about 20 minutes and then said that it's a lifelong condition. We don't know what the limits are. We don't know what the causes are. We have no cures. Have a nice day. The system is wrong, and it makes me very angry. He had blurted out in class that he wanted to kill himself. It scared me, it scared me so much. My son's a sweet, loving, kind, gentle being. I don't want you to ever feel like that. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Just doing my best trying to get through day by day. This is what we really mm. need to communicate. I feel thirsty and You're tired. You're thirsty and tired. Okay, honey. I think one of the common misconceptions about autism is that you don't like people. A story on the front page of our local newspaper reported how the principal at my high school told a staff member, the retard can't be valedictorian. I love you. I love you too. Once I really understood what autism meant, it was easier because then I could find my community. In your commencement address, you bring up Victor Frankl's book, Man's Search for Meaning, about gratitude, about life. About sharing your last crust of bread. That's what it means to be human. Wow. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> <laughs> you are such a beautiful soul. This is about them tapping into their own inspiration, using art to make sense of their world. You can hear music, and then you can just play it. And I can just play it, yes. How did you come to a place of peace with me as your parent being autistic? Oh, you have oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> My message to any girl, any boy struggling with autism is that it is your superpower. Embrace it. Learning from all these autistic people on this journey has made me realize that I feel a part of something. <laughs>